Hey everyone, it's Neil here. Thanks for joining me today. I've got an unboxing for you. And it's not a jersey, or two jerseys, or five jerseys. It's not uh, any hockey hats or hats in general. The two things that I unbox most on the channel, 95% of those things being just jerseys. The odd time I unbox a hat. This is different. There is no, uh, there's no jerseys in here. Well, technically there is a jersey in here, but it's not a hockey jersey. Uh, and there's no hats in here either. There's a couple pair of shoes, uh, a shirt, and a jersey, and I think maybe one more thing. Oh, a sweater. That's what it was, a hoodie. So I figured, you know what, maybe I'll make an unboxing video on this and uh, and see how it goes. I needed a couple of things, so some are sports related, some are like active related, you'll see. And uh, we'll get going here and, and and get this open. I technically already opened this because I had to get something out to, uh, to bring to PEI to give to Dad. I did buy him something, but look how big this box is. It is huge, like legit, like this is a huge box. Let's get into it. I think I'm, I do have the top down camera going, but I don't know if I want to use it because this box is so high that it just covers up the entire table. So what I might do is just maybe kind of put this off to the side and then take things one, take things at one at a time. So I'll do this one first. All right, so I think I got the hiking shoes first here. And a little bit of a backstory before I open this box. I did some some hiking, you know, back in the day, and then a couple of years ago we did Chignecto, which was in Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, sorry, 60 kilometer back hike, uh, no internet, no cell service, no nothing. Had to find your own running water and whatnot. That took three days or three and a half days, I think it was, and it was a great time. But one thing that I really struggled with was my shoes, my footwear. I did not have great shoes. And uh, I, I needed a new pair, but then after that I broke my ankle. So I, I tried putting those shoes back on and my it killed my ankles. It was almost too rigid around the ankle. And to try and find a shoe that's a hiking boot or shoe that's not rigid around the ankle like that, it, it's like almost impossible. So then I had to go like up in price range and see what's going on there. They had options, but I'm not spending like $350 or $400 on hiking shoes and I'm not even sure the level of hiking that I'm going to be able to do now because of my ankle so I wanted to wait till something went on sale and I found a sale you guys know I like my deals okay the shoes that are in this box were $299 and I got them for $130 that's a pretty good deal I think so I'm very happy with it and it should fit I haven't tried these on yet but it should fit my my needs as far as my ankle so here they are they're like they're not that typical like super super rigid a hiking shoe that's going to protect quite a bit. I don't think they're waterproof, but they might be water resistant, but they're very, uh, like it's a very stretchy material. They're extremely light, which is awesome. And uh, this is the section here that I was kind of talking about. So this comes up like it does on a normal kind of hiking shoe, but this is so stretchy that I'm hoping that it won't uh, bother my ankle too much. So worst case, I'll just return them, but it looks to me like on first glance, like it's going to be okay. And then inside here, there's actual like pretty thick, pretty thick padding here. So thick, some thick padding. So actually it seems like it might be okay. I have to try these on um, uh, a little bit later, but these, yeah, the $130, these are size uh, 12. So they should fit okay. And set these aside. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, the bottom uh, here is made by actual uh, Continental Tire. They they make uh, tires for cars and whatnot. And they, actually, they make a bunch of different things, not just things that are rubber related, but uh, a bunch of things. All right, let's put this to the side. All right, next up, let's get out. Let's get out the hoodie. Little little teaser. It is a tie dye hoodie. I I like tie dye. I don't know why. I mean, I'm a '90s kid, so maybe that's maybe that's why. But tie dye is coming back, and I just like tie dye. And I've got that got that uh, Laugh Daily More J Stu hood, and uh, I like it a lot. But it's quite thick, thick, and so I wanted something a little bit thinner. So I got this, and it looked it well. It was described as something really really thin on the site and so here it is just a kind of like a light tie-dye sweater um, not super into the pink but uh, I mean I guess my background's kind of pink with my colors but I like the green I like the specific shade of like green it's almost like a mint green a little bit and this is man they were right like this is really thin this is more of like a like a summer sweater when it's not cold but it's a little breezy maybe or something so I, this looks pretty good and this is Adidas obviously oh, sorry all this stuff came from Adidas I didn't mention that earlier and this was regular $99 and I got it for $30. So that's I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price to pay for a hoodie, at least in Canada. Maybe it's like $20 in the United States, but yeah, happy with that one. I'll have to try that on a little bit later. And let's get into the next pair of shoes. This was a pretty decent score. And I, 
I tend to collect shoes, not really wear them a bunch, but I'll like wear them a couple of times and I'll wear like a different pair and then a different pair. I'm trying not to like wear one pair and then just wear them out and then have to buy another pair. I'm kind of like trying to shuffle them around a little bit. So I got these ones. These are Adidas, obviously. Not super fancy, um, but they are a size 11 and a half, so they should fit perfectly. Just a really simple shoe. These were $29. And it looks to be almost like a kind of a bluish gray kind of tint. Almost almost a bit of like cool steel action. And uh, I don't think they're not super, these aren't $300 pairs of shoes. They're regular $90 and I got them for $30. So I'm not expecting wonderful things, but I like the way they look and they're, they're pretty light. So they should fit nicely. So another one down. All right, let's do maybe the piece of resistance in here. You'll understand what I mean by that. Oh, that wasn't very, <laughs> that wasn't very <laughs> exciting. There's nothing on the back of here. Uh, let me flip it over. Check that out. What is this? Let's open it up. All righty. I bought this on sale. It was, I think, $48. I just had to get it. I just, just, I just had to get it. I want to get it, I want to get framed. Check this out. Look at this. That is awesome. So it's a soccer jersey. City edition. And this is France. Oh, I know you can't tell, but that is, that is felt. That feels good. And I got the Fleur de Lis on the front. I did get size medium. I could have got large, but I figured, well, right now I buy my jerseys in size medium but I wear size large t-shirts. So is it a risk to buy a medium soccer jersey? No, no, never bought one before. So this will be my first experience of buying a medium soccer jersey. It looks like it'll fit maybe okay. And the, ooh, the number on the back is felt as well with an inlet of Adidas logo there. The Paris is also, oh, this is nice. Like I don't even want to wear this. I'm not, I would never wear this outside. I would never probably even wear this in a video. I might, I might but. I, I want to put this in a, in a shadow box, I think. It's just something different than a hockey jersey. I love the colors. It represents a country. It is designed beautifully, and it's unique. And how often am I going to get a chance to find a soccer jersey that looks nice for a reasonable price? Like, this was like $150 regular price. I am never going to pay that for this. But for $48 or $50 or whatever it was, yeah, sign me up. I'll buy this every day of the week, so... Pretty cool collection, or a pretty cool thing to add to the collection. And that leaves one more item. All right, the final item. It is, hmm, doesn't really look that appealing from here, but let's get it out of the bag. It's just a polo shirt, but it is a Team Canada branded polo dry fit shirt. It's actually a golfing shirt, which is kind of weird. I don't really golf that much anymore, but uh, it's got the Canada logo there on the arm. It's actually like a rubberized material. That that actually feels amazing. That's what she said. And then the Canada on the front. Ooh, that, that's rubberized as well. Very interesting. Mm, I needed some kind of like summer shirts and it's very stretchy. It is a size large, so I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna fit or not, but uh, let's try it on and see. All right, there you have it. Do, they, hmm, do I leave the, the top button open or do I do the top button? That, I think that doing the top button would look a little bit strange. Sorry, I'm trying to see myself on the little screen above the camera. Hmm, not sure. Probably leave open. Oh, it even matches the hat. Did not plan that. Did not plan for this to match the hat. This feels really good. This is a, this is nice. Like I could totally wear this out on a really, really hot day and be absolutely fine in this. That This is an amazing shirt. I would even consider buying another one, but I got it on sale. It was $30 regular, like $99 for this thing. I think it's because it's branded for the golf or whatever, but uh, Team Canada, polo shirt. Good deal, good stuff. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. I know this probably wasn't a regular interesting video that I do where it's, you know, hockey jersey and whatnot, but hey, maybe someone enjoyed it. I appreciate you. Hope you're finding lots of good deals out there during the summertime uh, sales. So they're, they're all over the place on Cool Hockey, on Adidas, on Sport Check, Pro Hockey Life. They're everywhere, you'll find something. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button down below and I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.